This next social networking traffic video we're looking at is a very popular one, myspace.com. As you can see, only uh, 75,195 videos have been uploaded today to MySpace. Uh, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's still a very popular social networking site. If you look um, in the Alexa rankings, it's ranked number six um, in the top 100 websites. So it's very, very popular, it's still used by millions of people a day. Um, you can browse, you can search, you can invite, you can have blogs, you can go to forums, you can create groups. There's so many things to do to actually create a video on the entire content of MySpace will probably run to quite a few videos in a collection. Um, but the idea here is that a lot of people spend their day doing nothing else but spending time on MySpace. So if you can get a very good um, profile set up where you've got friends that you're inviting to the site um, and you're talking to them and you're networking with them, uh, you can just grow and grow and grow and grow and grow um, to the point of where even uh, top uh, recording artists and actors and all sorts of people have MySpace accounts uh, because they know that they have already realized the power. So setting one up is straightforward. You go here, you go into the first page, and if you look top right, you see here it says sign up. So you sign up to myspace.com. And you're going to start the process of joining. Um, so you, as you can see here, can create a custom profile, upload your pictures, you can send mail and instant messages, you can write blogs, and it's free. So um, let's just create an account. And for the purpose of this, I'm going to create a test account. Birth. I'm just going to make one up for this because I'm going to delete the account later anyway. Let's just put in a date. And you click sign up. So here you put in your email address, your first name, your last name, a password, the country, your postcode, your date of birth, your gender, and where you'll prefer to sign languages and hit sign up. It's got to contain at least one number. Fair enough. Let's put one in. thinking about it. The next step is verifying the account. As you can see, MySpace takes abuse seriously. Um, keeping it free of abuse and spam ensures a fun and safe experience for everyone. So you need to take the text um, and place it into the information below to continue. And it looks like that. Some of these are very hard to read sometimes. And here you can start to upload profiles of, of yourself if you want to, or you can skip it. And then here they're asking you to invite friends. So in here you can put um, two different people. You can invite different people to MySpace if you want to. You can change the messages. I'm going to skip it for now. But already it's starting to get you used to building um, a network. And there's a new feature now that as uh, your friends can be updated whenever either of you adds photos, videos, blogs, profiles, or new music for bands only. Why is that cool? Well, basically, uh, once you get people into your friends network and you get a following, if you can start creating a blog or topic within your profile that's a very well respected or, or, or a niche that people are very interested in, you can stand out as being an expert in that niche. Every time you then add a photo, a video, or a blog, um, or edit your profile, every single one of your friends will be notified. Think how powerful that is for getting people coming back to your site over and over again. So this is sort of the basic page. There's lots of different layouts that you can have. You can change the style. Tom is always the first friend you're given. And then it's up to you to um, add it from there. Bulletins, if people give you bulletin information, 
friend updates. So if someone's done something in your friends, then there's sponsored links and all sorts of stuff on here as well. And you can kind of change more of how the site is laid out, what you'll put on here, um, different videos. You can choose the layout of your MySpace account um, and change your profile and all these other things which you want to play around with. The first thing you want to do is pick your MySpace URL. So what you want to do is have a, a straightforward MySpace account. So if we're going to call it There we go. So now when people go to myspace.com, Martin is testing, they would get my profile. I can send that to people. So you can see here, so my URL is myspace.com. Martin is testing. If we click that. There you go. Now this is my actual personal profile as it stands at the moment. So I can add um, different pieces here and add in more. So it's entirely up to you. Let's go back. It says here you can't send messages, post comments or bulletins until you verify. So you have to verify your email address. Let's request a verification email. And return home. Incidentally, it automatically sends you one anyway, so you won't need to have done that if you've already been seen it in your inbox. So I'm going to check now to see if we've had one arrive. As you can see here, it's got thanks for verifying your email address. To complete the process, please click the link below. So let's click it now. And there we go, it's now completed. I can now start adding friends and finding people and start to network within MySpace. Uh, clearly, if I take part in groups and more forums and build up myself uh, a list of people and contacts, this can be very powerful. Just looking through here, you can see the thousands of people in different groups um, across the internet. And it's something that you can be making use of to get traffic to your site very quickly. Thanks for watching MySpace Traf Social Traffic video.